Hello everyone, this is Inferno, and today we're going to take a look at L2 Battle of Stalingrad Alpha. Uh, essentially, the game, if you pre-order it, you can get access to the current builds every week-ish, week I guess is the word. Um, today I'm just going to be showing how to take off and land in a Lag 3 Russian plane. I have the guns and missiles taken off of it for this. Um, uh, with the default settings, the plane is already heated up, so that's good. Um, anyways, we're gonna roll this back this way, and yeah, uh, prop pitched here. Um, flaps don't we don't even mess with that. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, you want your mixture set as lean as possible. Uh, basically that position, and then you want your prop pitch set to here, mixture here, and then you want your, uh, let me turn off track fire, you want your, uh, radiator set back, closed, when you, if you're heating up your engine you want them closed, if, you, if you're flying you want them open, so, uh, for now we're going to close it, and then, um, you want your throttle to be about 20-ish. And then we'll go ahead and flip that switch. Alright. Good. Brakes on. Brakes are on. And since um, normally you'd wait for your engine to heat up, but it's already heated to 65 degrees Celsius, so we're good. So let's go ahead and um, get the radiator up. There's <laughs> also just a fun fact everything is in Russian. It's great. Totally helpful. <laughs> All right. All right. And it looks like we're just ready for takeoff. So we're gonna open up our mixture a little bit and our throttle, and just get this plane off the ground. Oh yeah, we're gonna lower our flaps a little bit. Flaps a little bit low. I feel like it's a little easier to take off with just a bit of flaps, not too much. This plane likes to turn a little to one side. Alright, gear up, and throttle back a little bit. Alright, we're good. Flaps are up. Good. So, and now we're just going to turn around and land. This game uh, is set to come out in spring. So a couple months from now. Actually kind of close to Dark Souls 2, which is going to be hard on me. <laughs> I'm going to have too many games to play too little time. Yeah, uh, like, it's a really good looking sim. It's actually, um, for anyone interested, it's uh, based on Battle of Stalingrad. I think it's like 1940, uh, like 1941. I'm not, I mean, I'm not an expert on this, but about that time, uh, it's Russia and Germany. You can fly for either one. I'm not a, I'm not a German pilot. I'm a, Russian pilot, so I'm flying lag and not a BF 109. There's going to be a couple planes at release uh, LA 5, lag, big, um, and a couple other ones that I don't know the names of, but those are just Russian planes. The, the German planes will be stuck a BF 109. Um, uh, <laughs> HE 111, maybe. That's where you're going. About 400 kilometers an hour. Whoa! The track guy are freaked out there. Oh yeah, uh, I keep doing this. Every time I fly, I forget to close the cockpit. That's why it's so loud. Jesus. <laughs> I'm terrified. 
terrible. Alright, uh, we're still going way too fast. Um, come on. Do I need to do a barrel roll here? Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna have to come around for another try at this. I, I fucked it up. I, this, the flight modeling is much, much more difficult in this game than 1946. I, uh, I'll do Sturm and Vic 1946 was the game that came out a long time ago that I play a lot of. Um, I, I'm not. This is so much harder, in my opinion, than that game is. Alright. I do love the bug where um, the, the kilometers an hour in the bottom left doesn't work. It's supposed to. It's currently turned off, so it shouldn't work. But it just, it just doesn't. It just doesn't function. Instead of actually just going away, it just ceases to function at all. All right. Um, how fast are we going? Still too fast. But I think we can maybe make this work. No, I don't like this. I'm gonna try it again. One more shot. I want to go. I want to be going 270 miles an hour before I drop flaps in gear. Sorry, kilometers. Kilometers an hour. This is not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do like that the uh, the propeller. When you lower the propeller to a very low throttle, even when going pretty fast, it it does seem like the pull is a lot less in turns. It, it's one of those, It's a weird feeling, but I, it makes sense. All right, this is perfect. I like this. I got a good shot here. Flaps down. Gear out. All right, we're losing speed quickly, losing speed quickly. Let's get low. Let's get low fast. All right, perfect. All right, put her down. Put her down on the ground. Put her down on the ground. To one side. Lean a little to one side, yes. Oh, here we go in the rough. We're about to lose runway. Losing runway. It's gonna be bouncy. Engine off. Just, just cut it. Just cutting it. Ooh, this is bouncy. This is bouncy. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Alright, brakes on, brakes on. Oh my god. Guys, I landed it. <laughs> That's the first time I've successfully landed like three or four attempts. It is... <laughs> there we go. And is like way off the runway. Terrible use. Like I didn't even use the brakes. I was too afraid to flip the plane because uh, the brakes are on the front wheels. Like the I can't really show you guys easily, but the brakes are on the two front wheels. So if you if you're going fast and you brake too hard, you'll actually flip the plane on its propeller and break the engine and stuff. So you don't want to you don't want to do that. <laughs> but um also, and uh, other thing, I'm really I'm just really excited for this game because I mean. It's going to be hopefully like the most accurate flight sim for World War II flight sim out there when it comes out, and it's just going to be awesome. Okay, engine off, I believe, is just this key right here, and then uh, sweet, throttle back to zero and mixture down, and we're good to go. All right, and um, another interesting thing about this game, and I'm I really hoping this is going to be how I think it is. Uh, you can open up the cockpit like this, and uh. See that pistol right there? Um. <laughs> Hopefully, in the final release, you'll actually be able to get a real pistol and shoot people. This is just a flare gun. Oh, I clicked outside the screen. Yeah, you can shoot flares. And it looks like bounce off the ground and stuff. Pew. <laughs> but uh, there's actually an option in the control menu. Um. Uh, weapons controls, and um, under here you can see there's a shoot personal weapon, and there's a personal weapon option. So I'm assuming that means that there is a actual like pistol or something you can get out, and you can literally, if you run out of ammo on your uh, machine guns, you could just like open up the cockpit, pull out a pistol, and try and shoot the guy out of his fucking plane. 
<laughs> that would be the most amazing thing that ever happened if that if that's in the game. Because in World War One, before they had planes with guns on them, they would actually like bring machine guns and pistols with them and just try and shoot each other out of the sky like that. So let's let's hope, let's pray for that, because I would love to just try that. And um, yeah, it, overall the controls and stuff. There's you know, this this game is a simulation, so uh, I have a flight stick and stuff, track IR and all that, and I'm playing with that, but, uh, yeah, I, I, this is, it looks really good, and, um, on the menu it actually has, uh, let me go ahead and finish our mission, because we succeeded in taking off and landing, <laughs> uh, on the menu here, it actually shows that the game is 39% done, that's their estimation, and I mean, considering how, I mean, there are things wrong with it, and I've read stuff on the forums about problems and stuff with, like, just various things, but, like, it just feels really good. It feels, it's fun to fly, and it feels realistic in the terms of, like, other flight sims I've played, so it's definitely succeeding there. And I, I like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be multiplayer, obviously, and it's gonna be, the main focus of this game is gonna be, you know, playing online and, you know, Russians versus Germans. There you go. And, uh, yeah, like, you can fly a BF-109. I'll just show you the cockpit of it. I don't know how to fly this thing. It's completely different. Um, <laughs> flying a, uh, it's like flying a Russian plane and flying a German plane are different. Flying a Spitfire versus flying... Actually, the lag and the Spitfire were pretty close. The lag... Oh, the Spitfire is different than the lag. It's They're close together. But I don't know how to fly a BF-109 for shit. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of people out there who swear by German planes, but I, I don't know how to... I, I don't get to them. I don't understand. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, so BF-109... Totally a plane I didn't know anything about. Uh, it's I I know I've shot a lot of them down and cliffs it over. That's for sure. <laughs> but um, I don't know much about it to be honest. But man, that's a pretty cockpit. Yeah, like you see all the stuffs in different places, even the it dials. Uh, I, that's yeah, that's the speedometer or speedometer, not the right word. Um, yeah, that's that's airspeed. This is probably like RPMs, um, compass, uh, horizon, uh, fuel. Yeah, I guess. I wonder if they get their own. Uh, open that up. Oh, opens up different. Uh, get their own flare gun. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, that's all for now. I'll uh, I'll be posting more videos. I'll probably post some dogfights later on. Uh, when I learn how to dogfight in this game, that is going to be a fucking challenge. But you know. We'll see. I'll post videos of that later, but uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day.